on everything. Oh, well, tonight you get to sit back, relax, and let Leaf and Petal do all the work. This is why we love shopping with Leaf and Petal for more than four years here at HSN. They make designing a garden super easy, kind of goof proof. You don't have to have a green thumb. In fact, it is super easy and very easy easy and not intimidating to plant these amazing hibiscus plants from leaf and petal look at what you're receiving today you are going to receive some of the largest most gorgeous most vibrant most eye-catching blooms the garden world has ever known these are going to be massive the blooms grow to nearly eight inches across and you can see that this is the plant that will grow two to three feet high about two to three feet wide they're hardy they're good for all the different zones across the country and you're going to receive one of each color you're receiving a white you're receiving this beautiful rose color you'll also receive the swirl plant that you see here and you're also going to receive the red let me show you how they're getting shipped to you because you're going to receive four of the beautiful plants that are already in the growers pots one two three four right to your door for twenty nine dollars and ninety five cents we have an amazing value usually these are twenty seven dollars each tonight it's like getting $20 off each plant. $7 a pop. One day only. It's their only Hibiscus Today special of the year. And I want you to hear all about it from our amazing guest. Rochelle Grayer is going to take you shopping. Rochelle, welcome back. Great to see you. Already everybody's talking about the amazing blooms. And of course, how pretty the Hibiscus plant is. Good to see you. You do, you too. You, these are hibiscus, all of our hibiscus have always done so well um, at every spring. And these, I'm excited because this is a new hibiscus that we've never offered before. And what's so great about these, particularly if you were a lover of our bigger hibiscus that we sold last year, you get the same big blooms, not quite as big. We called those dinner plates. These are more like my full palm of my hand size, so more like eight inches, but still kind of that showstopper flower, but you're getting four of them and they're coming as plants. So you're getting a little bit of a head start on the season. The great thing about these, they're a little bit more flexible if you have a smaller garden. Uh, the, these ones are only gonna get about two to three feet um, in each direction, tall and wide. So uh, to me, as a landscape designer, I always like, well, you know, that gives you a lot more options. You can do a container planting. You can do um, a small hedge. It's a kind of plant that it's short enough that if you wanted to put it right down at the front of your border, that would be fine, but you could also put it or towards the middle or the back. So you really have a lot of options with these and the price is like unbelievable. I'm kind of trying to figure out where can I put pairs, you know, get two <laughs> sets and, and, you know, have a couple here, a couple there, um, because these are just such wow colors. Um, the other thing that's really great about these is they are hardy. I know you mentioned that already. I'm up here in Boston. We're zone five, six. These are going to be hardy all the way down to zone five. So that's pretty much the whole lower 48 for the most part. Um, and they're going to be giving you that, you know, tropical look even if you're not in the tropics, which is really, really nice. So if you're thinking about, you know, kind of creating that staycation place maybe, or just, you know, have a nice patio or lanai, this is gonna give you that, you know, summer feeling, you know, wherever you live. And in fact, we have an automatic shipment zone. So you don't have to worry about when to plant it based on your zip code. As soon as you receive it, you can plant it. So uh, let Leaf and Petal do the work. You really can't mess this up, no worries. If you have any questions tonight, I want you to ask our master gardener, Rochelle. We're streaming live on HSN's Facebook page. So come hang out with us and join the conversation. She's a landscape designer, a master gardener. She's here to make sure that you have the most beautiful garden. And and you are going to love your outdoor space. So here's what you're getting. You're getting the red, you're getting the rose, you're getting the swirl, and you're getting the white. You're getting one of 
each. Now, if you love pairs of the same color, maybe you would like to order two sets and you can get two of the white, two of the rose, two of the swirl, two of the red. You get the idea, but we have never before offered a hibiscus today special quite like this. In fact, uh, let me just take you back in time. Last year, we offered a hibiscus today special and it was the bare root. So you receive the root and you had to plant it in the ground and wait for it to blossom. This time, for the first time ever, you're already getting them quite large in size in the three inch growers pot. So you already kind of got a head start. You're getting four fully live, beautiful plants ready to go. They all come with a one year warranty. They also come with this and you're gonna have all the information you need from Leaf and Petal to get started. You'll get a brochure. You can also easily access their website, leafandpetaldesigns.com, ask them any questions. It'll tell you how to water. You want to put these in full sunlight and really hardy. So no matter if you are in a very uh, area that's very hot, it's very dry. You never have to worry about these amazing tropical plants surviving because they are designed for some of the most uh, very difficult areas of the country. So you're going to love it. A couple things I want to mention uh, because we are going to be very, very busy today. It's our only hibiscus today special of the year. Uh, do lock your order in early. Uh, but we do also have some great fertilizer from Leaf and Petal. If you love the idea and they recommend feeding your plants every uh, two weeks or so, we have a 50 pack of the Leaf and Petal food concentrate. It's easy little pods and you just drop a pod in a gallon of water. You stir, you shake, you spray, and you just water as usual. It's a great perfect balance of all the right plant fertilizers. You can add that to your order. And if you love, if you love hibiscus, I have a, an amazing tree coming up as well. And we offered this last year. It was also very popular. But this tree has the braided stem. And this has that beautiful kind of topiary look, very statuesque. And in fact, this one is going to come in a very large, ready to plant size. It's pretty impressive. So I just want you to know that's coming up a little bit later in the hour. We also have the roses, which are going to be very popular. Uh, but now is the time to jump in and enjoy the hibiscus. So this is what they look like full grown, Rochelle. Uh, tell us what it's mm -hmm. like to receive the package. We get it home. Where do we go from there? Yeah, well, when you get them home, they're gonna be four of them in little pots like this. They'll be wrapped in plastic so that the dirt doesn't spill out. And when you get them in, you'll obviously have hopefully figured out where you're gonna want to plant them. I would plant, I'm planting mine this year. I'm gonna plant them in a container. I've got my container actually right down here. And I'm gonna pair them up with um, our sun patients because you get four of those and four of these. And I'm thinking that it'll be a perfect little combination in a plant, uh, a single planter. Um, but if you are gonna plant this, just one of these per container, which you could totally do. I would say you want to go with maybe a 12 or 16 inch container. I like to plant things like this in containers the first year I have them just until I get to learn what they're going to do and how they're going to perform. And then the next year I move them out into the garden. Um, but these are perfect for both container or, or planted in the ground. Uh, wherever you plant them though, you are going to want to make sure that you give them a lot of water. These are plants that are native native means that you know before we started building things and it was just the original kind of um botanical uh you know um losing my words here but all the native plants the plants that were here before we started changing things and building yards this is a native and it's native to uh, swamps of north america and so the good thing about that is um it tells you a little bit about how it wants to be treated it wants to have a really wet environment so if you have a wet spot in your yard that's a great place to plant it. If not, just make sure you water it regularly so it gets these big, beautiful blooms. And the other thing about being native that's so positive is that because it was part of the original ecosystem that's here, that means that there are pollinators and plants and animals that, that need it and want it, and it will be tougher and it will be part of the ecosystem better and it'll survive a little bit better than you know some of the other cultivated plants we put into our garden. So, Toughness is, is great on this one. Um, you're not going to have to worry about um, about this surviving, especially, you know, uh, all the way up here, even in Boston. I mean, it's hardy to zone five, which is, and, 
you know, um, yeah. pretty far north, actually. <laughs> it, it sure is. I know. I, I've lived in all those northern states. And let me tell you, it's always so disappointing to think, oh, my gosh, I can't have any tropical plants. I live too far north. Mm. But everyone in the United States that you see on this map, you're going to receive a hibiscus plant that is ready for your zone. So these are built extra hardy. It's called the hardy variety of the hibiscus. It's a shorter, more compact plant. So that means they're more versatile, whether they're in your yard or in your garden or on a patio. You could put these on a planter in a balcony. You could live in an apartment. You could live in a condo. You could sort of design these as a hedge and sort of create a border around your yard. You can sort of put them to sort of, uh, I would say frame like an entryway. They would be amazing, but they're only available for one day. And already with the thousands of you that were ordering yours early, we had a today's special pre-sale. You do not want to miss out on these because the plants that we have right now are all we have. There's only so many they can grow in anticipation of this today's special. So you're getting four of the plants that are ready to put in the ground right now. Now, you're getting four of those grower pots, which we've never done before. We have done the root variety. They take a little bit longer to get going, but this means you're gonna see the blooms even faster. They are deer resistant. They are drought resistant. They are heat resistant. All they need is your tender loving care, and you're gonna really love the color and variety they add to your lawn. So I'm gonna invite you to place your order as quickly as you can. Go to hsn.com. Uh, all you do is type in this item number, 7864. You'll also see it right there on our homepage. Our big lawn and garden event starts tonight. We have four flex pay on all of our flowers, all of our plants, all of our outdoor items. And that means you can get these home for $7.50. We're not even going to charge you shipping and handling. So talk about an amazing value. I did a little shopping around myself. I could not find anything that could compare to what you're getting today. You're getting four growers pots for $29.95. Right now at retail, one of these is $27. Another one would be $27. Another one would be $27. Your fourth one would be $27. You'd be spending $109. It's like taking $20 off the price of each one of these plants. The quality is superb. Already more than 5,000 gone, is that right? I'm gonna check with my producer. I mean, we just started the presentation. Uh, 5,000 gone. A lot of you are getting two sets, because that way, if you do like two of the same color, you'll have more options. You'll get, again, two of everything if you order two sets. Right now, everyone's getting every color. So that's a wonderful thing because you'll get that amazing variety with your very first purchase. If you want the hibiscus tree, uh, we only have a few hundred left. It is coming up. Uh, we'll give you that item number. And I do want you to know, this is not as hardy as our today's special. This is the one you wanna pull inside for the winter season. It makes a beautiful, gorgeous green foliage and sort of topiary look. But uh, during the winter, that would be one you wanna pull inside. These are true perennials. Uh, every year they're gonna come back and they're gonna be bigger, they're gonna be brighter. So Rochelle, tell us a little bit about once we plant and once we water, what to expect as far as the growth and the blooms and the entire season. Yeah, so these are gonna be triggered by heat. Um, that's what's gonna make them really grow. And then what's nice about these as opposed to the ones we've done before, which are from the root, is they are already pre-started for you. So you're really getting kind of a good jump on the season. The root one takes a little bit longer because it, it has to get this top growth growing. So that's one of the really kind of cool things about this. If you are in a southern state, a warmer state with an earlier spring, you can really expect something about the size of what you're going to get um, in the first season of what you see on the set there. They're, they're going to get, you know, 18 inches, in every direction in that first season. Ultimately, they'll top out between two and three feet wide and tall. Up north, it's gonna probably be a little bit less the first season. This is more of like a second season um, for northern gardeners like myself. I've been growing these for a couple of years now. They are amazing. I love them because they are the plants that aren't really, so I, in my garden, it's super easy to have all kinds of stuff going on in the spring and the early summer, tons and tons of plants. But then you hit that mid season where the heat really gets hot and you know everything gets a little tired. And 
then you have the fall where things kind of get all exciting again. These are the things that are going to carry you through that hot part of the summer. They're going to bloom every day. They're going to love that heat. Put them in a nice sunny spot. Get them regular water. And you're going to have a real wow moment wherever you put them. As Doug, one of my colleagues who's down there in the studio, he calls them the 60 mile per hour plant because somebody's driving by at 60 miles an hour they're going to see this and say what is that because right. they really do have these really big bright beautiful bulbs uh blooms i mean that are just so eye-catching they are and they're always the plants that you admire right if you have a little curb envy yeah. you know driving by someone's home maybe you're looking to spruce up your yawn or your garden or maybe you're going to be entertaining the spring and summer maybe you're going to have a summer wedding a bridal shower baby shower you're thinking these will look amazing have you shopped around at home and garden and outdoor stores live plants are very expensive i know every spring i couldn't load up my car Car and, and drive out of the parking lot without spending at least $200 on some very, very basic plants. This is going to make your garden look amazing for as low as $29.95. That's not for one plant. That's for four plants. So it's almost like buying four for the price of one. So we also have a set of four pots. If you are thinking, where do I put these? We'll make it really easy. We also only have a few hundred of the pots. You can choose a four pack of these pots. They come in three different colors that you can choose from. Green, blue, or red, and let me tell you why you wanna pick up these. Not only do they look beautiful, they look like ceramic, they look like clay. They're actually a very durable plastic, so they're not too heavy. Because let's face it, by the time you add the mulch and the dirt and the plant, they can be almost impossible to move. So that's a nice, tough, dur very durable plastic, and they have a drainage hole in the bottom. You'll get a four pack, really affordable today, four of those for less than $60. That's like $15 a pop, so you might want to add those to your order. You just pick your color. Uh, Rochelle, we've already got some questions coming in. We are getting really, really sure. busy, so uh, if you can, uh, jump online, uh, get your order in tonight. You will not want to wait till tomorrow. Uh, we have a limit limited quantity, already more than 5,000 gone. Okay, do they make a good house plant, Rose, uh, Rosemary wants to know, or would they only be outside? Yeah. I would say these ones are only outside. If you're interested in one that can become a house plant, these are perennials and they're gonna, you know, need that dormant period and they're gonna rest up north here. They'll die all the way back to the ground and then they'll throw out all new growth next year. If you're wanting something that can be a house plant, I have the hardy, uh, the other hibiscus back here, the hibiscus tree that we're gonna talk about in a little bit. You can see it right here. It's even actually blooming. It makes a great house plant. It stops blooming in the winter, but it keeps that nice topiary mm -hmm. and you've got the beautiful braided stem. Oh, that's so a that great idea. that is a great house plant. Okay. This, and one, I would say put these outside. Put outside. <laughs> outside is the answer. Jennifer wants to know, are they deer tolerant? Yeah. Okay. So deer are little uncontrollable beings. We, we always say deer resistant because, you know, we, we, try them out and most deer don't like them. Um, these are not, you know, sometimes I'm, I have rhododendrons, they say they're deer resistant too and occasionally they get hungry and they eat them. But yes, they should be deer resistant. They're not one of their favorite plants. So um, you should be able to plant with some confidence there unless you have just absolutely, you know, crazy deer. But <laughs> oh, we do have those sometimes. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, you cannot control the wildlife. However, this is this is one uh, that we can say deer resistant. Great question. Deer resistant. Cassandra yeah. wants to know, does each plant grow large enough to grow in a pot or do you need more than one? But I know, I think I heard you recommend only one plant per pot, right? Because this is, this is as yeah. big as they get, right? That's the, yeah, that's about as big as they get. I think it depends on your pot. Um, I, I have the, what you see in there on the set, I think is like a 12 or 16 inch pot. That would be great for one plant. That would be perfect size. Um, if it, if you leave it in that pot for a couple years, you may find that you might want to upgrade that to like more of a 16 or an 18 inch pot over the years. It might just get a little bigger and need a little more space. If you have a bigger pot, like I have some of these, uh, those, um, wine barrel sort of things. They're more like 20 or 25. I'm going to put a couple things in there. I could put two of these. I'm going to choose this year because of the sun patients, 
you know, they want kind of the same um, environment and they have similarly colored blooms. I'm going to kind of mix and match the sun patients that we offer with these and then maybe like a grass or something trailing down the front. But that's for a bigger pot. That's like 20 inches or more. So if you, it just depends on your pot size. If it's okay. 16 or less, you just one plant per pot. Right, because they, they're, they're going to get really nice and big and full, but still very manageable. Really so that's uh, yeah. a great question. Uh, Gay wanted to know about the full sun recommendation. Can you go over that again, Rochelle? Yeah, so these really do want full sun. Um, I've had good luck with them in a partial, partial sun. It's a solid four hours of sun, like full sun that they're going to need. So depending on where you are, again, the north-south thing kind of makes a difference up north, give them a little more. Down south, they, you know, they can tolerate a little more shade. But uh, we call it full sun because they need a good four hours of sun in a day. Perfect. And you can see how beautiful these are. How excited are you? Your garden is going to look amazing. Not only will you get curb envy from all of your neighbors, they'll be green with envy, or maybe they'll be pink with envy or red with envy. <laughs> you never know. Uh, but these are the tropical plants that we've always wanted. Uh, maybe you've always admired. Uh, the minute you got off the plane in Hawaii and you were kind of swept away on maybe that Caribbean vacation, these are those massive blooms that we'd love to see every day and we'd love to enjoy throughout the entire summer they bloom all summer all the way until the frost and then of course they're perennial so they're going to come back even larger and bigger and brighter the following season so jump right in right now we're giving you four plants this four of the luna hibiscus it's the hardy hibiscus the hibiscus flowers have been their most popular plant and today we're doing a one day only opportunity buy and you can see how pretty they are so easy to plant they're not intimidating if there was gardening for dummies uh this is it <laughs> this is this is leaf and petal this is what they do best and really virtually maintenance free uh, very compact kind of beautifully branched and a lot easier to decorate with than some of the larger varieties. So you're getting four, you're getting a red, you're getting a pink, you're getting the swirl, you're getting the white, and they're all gonna come for the first time ever, we've ever done this, they're coming in the grower's pots. It's not a seed. It's not a root, and if you shop around online, that's how a lot of the other hibiscus plants are getting shipped to you. These are four ready-to-plant designer plants in the growers pots you're getting four of those so that means you'll enjoy it sooner and you'll see those blooms even faster so first time ever we're doing the growers plot uh pots here last year we did the roots and we did two yeah. roots for 29 dollars we're giving you oh, four yeah. plants for the same price. So uh, Rochelle, again, super easy to put in the ground once we get them home, right? Yes, absolutely. And I just want to um, show you, you do get one of these brochures in every um, every shipment. And if the, it, not only does it, we already told you, it gives you all of the information about growing, but the part that I really want to point out is back here, you have all of our contact details, which is, you know, Facebook, Instagram, phone numbers, emails, uh, you know, every possible way you could possibly reach out to us. We have a brilliant staff at our nursery. They're sitting right there beside the plants, basically. They're there to answer questions yeah. and help you with the warranty. All of our perennials come with a full one-year warranty. So that means that you're going to get them and that's from when we ship them to you, not mm -hmm. when you order them. So you're gonna get these when it's the right time to plant. So if you're up north, it'll be as late as May. If you're, as you go south, it'll be a little bit earlier. We have the map there. But you have one year from when you, when it's shipped to you to, to, to follow up on that warranty. So if you have any problems in this first season, it's not performing, you have some issues, whatever, call us up. We'll make it right and then next year if you don't see it come back you know sometimes winter kill things like that 
call us back. We'll, we'll no make problem. it right for you. So we're trying to make it so easy so you can be that, yeah. you know, rock star gardener that you hope to be. <laughs> <laughs> the gardener of our dreams. And you know what? We love spending time yeah. outdoors. Let's decorate. Let's get ready for spring. I hope you love this as much as we do. And I know you're going to love it. You just don't want to miss out. Uh, with nearly 6,000 gone now, uh, there's a limited quantity for the entire day. I also want to mention the 50 count of the plant food concentrate. This is a great way to ensure you're getting the most out of your plants. These actually come in little pods. I'm gonna see if I can open this one. Each pod is already pre-measured, so you just pop it in a gallon of water, and you just stir, and you shake, and then you spray, and you can water just as usual. They're great for outdoor plants, indoor plants. They're great for flowers. They're great for anything in your garden. You might want to add that to your order. They do recommend that you feed your hibiscus plants every one to two weeks, so that'll get you started. Okay, speaking of hibiscus, a lot of you shop this one early. Uh, we only have a few hundred of the hibiscus tree now. Now, this is coming up, but if you want to place your order, uh, we can make sure we get one for you because they might sell out during our show tonight. This one is really fabulous because it has four different varieties braided together. It's a braided stem, and this one is, of course, the one that's better for an indoor option during the winter. This one you want to pull indoors during the winter, but uh, are you ready for roses? Everything's coming up roses. That's what Mama June said. And tonight, we do have one of our most popular rose plants. And you know what? Think about all these wonderful plants as great ideas for Mother's Day. You could surprise mom or a girlfriend or just a loved one, a friend, a neighbor. You know, have leaf and petal ship them plants that are ready to go, plants that are ready to pop in the ground so you can start enjoying all the beautiful designer looks for your garden. This is the four piece leaf and petal mini rose collection. And again, you don't have to choose. You're getting all four. So you're gonna get four different colors here. You're gonna get the rise and shine, that's the yellow. Uh, we're going to grab the red and show you the red. Then we have the beautiful orange, which is called Amber Sunblaze. These, these are real flowers, by the way. This is exactly what they look like. You get multiple blooms on every single stem. They're so impressive. You're going to receive the lavender, and you're going to receive the red. You're getting all four of these beautiful colors for $24.95. These are also coming shipped to you in the grower's pots. So you'll get four of the grower's pots. You can pop them right in the ground and get going. Uh, but these are so pretty. Rochelle, you call these spray roses, right? Yes, yes. And the reason for that is if you think about, you know, long stem roses, it's one long stem with one flower at the end, one flower per stem. Spray roses are what, these are spray roses. They're really nice for flower arranging because you've got smaller flowers, so they're not as big as the long stem rose buds but they're still quite impressive. Um, and then there's a bunch of them on, on the stem. So it's, it's a whole spray of them. So it makes it um, easier actually to bring inside and arrange um, for, you know, in any kind of floral decorating you wanna do. But also it, you know, it covers. These are like, um, these perform almost like annuals. You get so many blooms on these um, as compared to other roses. They're really um, quite, you know, a wow moment for, for, for roses. They don't get very tall. They're only going to get about 12 inches. They're almost like a, like a very tall ground cover. So this is a good front of the border kind of plant, or, you know, you could pair these with the hibiscus and let them be kind of at the front of a container. These are going to like it hot and they're very, um, they're, they're very drought tolerant as well. They're also very tolerant or, or not tolerant, like the bunnies don't like them and the deers, deer don't like them. Um, so they're, you know, not something that gets picked on a whole lot. But yeah, you get these great four colors, lots and lots of, you know, just beautiful flowers for your garden all season long. Again, this is another one that's gonna bloom during that hot period. We kind of have a lot of those in this show actually. Plants that are gonna really come on and fill in that heat of the summertime period, which is very tricky actually, um, it, it, when you're trying to get a nice succession of blooms going. So um, the 
Roses, I mean, these are another huge hit with us. These ones aren't particularly smelly as roses go. They have a little faint scent, but not much. Um, but they're, you know, fantastic for crafting, cutting, just lots of color, very simply. They're the easiest roses you can grow, to be honest. They um, require no spraying. They're not um, high maintenance like a lot of roses can be. These ones are the very tough ones. Again, super hardy, down to actually zone four. Four, which is even hardier than the uh, hibiscus. So no matter where you are, you're going to be able to grow these very easily. Look how beautiful these are. So each stem has multiple blooms. That's what they're famous for. And you're going to receive all four colors today. You're going to get one in the red. You're not choosing. You get all four. You get one in the lavender. You get one in this beautiful kind of fiery sun blaze color, that sort of uh, sunset orange. And then you're also getting one in the yellow. So when you get them home, you can put, you know, one in the front, two in the back, one in the side. You can create your very own potted plants. So just like our today's special, you don't have to have a big yard. You can put it in a container. You can put it in a patio planter. Be such a nice, low, sort of bushy shrub. And these are just covered, just covered in bloom. So you're going to get sort of the maximum for your money tonight. And that's what I think, Rochelle, everyone is looking for. We love the idea of gardening. We get inspired by all the magazines and all the Instagram photos that are out there. Uh, but when it actually comes right down to it and you've got to go into a garden or outdoor center, they're so expensive to buy individual plants. This means we're going to ship it to you. You don't have to go to the garden center. You don't have to borrow yeah. a friend's truck or car. Twenty-four ninety-five. Right. You get four plants, and these are also coming in the grower's pot, so they're ready to go. What do you recommend for sun for the roses? These are going to be a full sun plant, just like the hibiscus was. Um, and y you know, there is a real advantage to, by the way, um, ordering them from the grower directly. So when you go to a nursery, those plants have typically been grown somewhere else. They were on a truck, they were delivered. They've been in that nursery being cared for, perhaps by somebody who doesn't really know how to care for them very well. And they tend to get a little tired. So the great thing about ordering from Leaf and Petal is that you're getting plants that are straight out of the nursery. They're getting packed by people in the nursery. And, you know, a couple days later, they're at your house in fantastic condition. They're not going to be all beaten up by the sun and half watered or anything like that. And if there is anything wrong, again, this is a perennial. So these are going to come back year in and year out. They'll get bigger and better every year, but they also come with that one year warranty. So if there's any trouble with them, you can call us about these as well. Um, you know, you'll get your rose brochure. If you're ordering multiple things, you'll have a whole stack of brochures, which actually I have to say, I love the way we do our brochures. Normally you get these tiny little tags that have, you know, like, uh, uh, mil millimeters worth of information. This is, you know, an eight and a half by 11. You could put it in a binder, unfold it. I, I like to keep mine in a filing cabinet because I constantly forget what I've planted. And so this is just a great way to keep track of what you ordered and how to take care of it. Right. Um, uh, but these roses, yeah, you cannot go wrong with these. I love them. I, I'm a big flower cutter. I like to harvest and bring them in these you know all these colors they mix really well with all kinds mm -hmm. of other things you might have in your yard uh to make you know homegrown bouquets and there's nothing like fresh flowers around the house. They're so pretty. Uh, they just, mm -hmm. they add a little color. They add a little light and certainly joy and happiness. I mean, that's what we love about flowers. It's one of Mother Nature's most amazing gifts. Uh, maybe you send mom some roses for Mother's Day. And uh, let's show you the map one more time. So whether you are buying our hibiscus, our today's special, uh, congratulations, thousands gone, or you're adding the mini roses to your collection, there are different growing zones and you can see when we will ship each plant based on when it's time to grow in your region. So you don't have to worry, mm -hmm. gosh, do I plant it today? Do I wait a week? Do I wait a month? As soon as you receive your plant, you can plant it. So if you live in Florida, mm -hmm. like we are based here in Florida, we're gonna have our shipped right away and we can put it in the ground right away. Uh, by next week, yep. you'll be getting it in Georgia and South Carolina and Alabama. You'll be ready to plant pretty much in the next week or two across the state of Texas and California. And then of course, as you get a little farther north, 
we know that once that uh, frost abates, it's time to ship yours, but then you'll be ready. You won't have to go to the store. You won't have to wonder what's available. And Rochelle, you brought up a good point. We don't always really know the quality of what we're buying. If we go to a big outdoor center or we go to our, our local nursery. No, I mean, they, well, and the other thing is, is um, a lot of times, you know, they even bring in stuff at the local um, big box stores that aren't even fully hardy where you live, which I'm always baffled by that. So you can trust that these, these are going to be zone four through 10. Zone four goes all the way up into Canada um, and, and then all the way south. So these are one of our toughest, toughest plants. Um, and they just happen to be roses, which is everybody's favorite flower. Um, and I wanted to just say, uh, these make a fantastic gift. Um, I, I know as a kid, my, my sister and I used to give my mom uh, roses, rose bushes for Mother's Day. And when we moved, when I was in high school, we moved about a mile down the road. We had to dig up all those roses because they meant so much to her So and move them to the new yard. So, I mean, this think about something like this as a gift because, uh, I mean, it's a fantastic way mm -hmm. to just kind of create something that keeps on giving year in and year out and that, you know, will always be associated idea. with you and your thoughtfulness. Also, roses are expensive. I mean, if you send fresh cut roses, uh, you're going to be spending easily $100 around Mother's Day. So look at what you're getting. You're getting all four varieties ready to plant for less than $25. I do want to mention our today's special. Uh, now 6,300 gone. They are going very quickly. There's a limited quantity and all we have is all we have for the entire day. You don't have to choose uh, which color you want. You're getting one of every variety. You're getting the red, you're getting the rose, you're getting the swirl, you're getting the white. It's also the first time we've ever offered them in the growers' pots. So that's the first time that we're going to bring those to you ready to plant. We've offered them in the root variety before, but now you're just going to be enjoying those blooms even quicker, even faster. This is the hardy hibiscus. It's great for every single zone in the United States. It, they are deer resistant, they're heat resistant, they're drought resistant, they're easy to plant. It blooms all year round. They're perennials, so uh, they go quiet in the winter, but they come back uh, incredibly colorful, bigger and brighter the next year. So I would make sure if you love two of everything, uh, get a double set of that hibiscus collection. You're going to be so glad that you enjoyed those incredible, gorgeous, massive blooms. Now, for those of you that love hibiscus, uh, back by popular demand this year is the leaf and petal hibiscus tree. It's 69. 95 and what you're getting today is really a full size tree this is like that decorator style this is what it's going to look like with all these big blooms these are those gorgeous huge eight inch hibiscus blooms you'll get all these different colors because it's actually four different plants. The stem has been braided together. This is actually hand braided. They start with smaller plants. They are braided together and they're watched and they're grown until it's ready to ship. This is the size that you're going to receive when it ships. So it is not a small plant. It is not a small box. You're gonna love it. Uh, Rochelle, let's talk about the multicolor hibiscus tree. It would be a nice mm -hmm. pairing with your today's specials, which will be the plants that you oh. put outside, but this could be indoors or out, right? Yeah, I mean, this is one that I would I would have it outside during the season. Look at this giant bloom here. This guy just opened up today. Um, I would have these out all, all year long, honestly. If you're down in Florida, these can stay out all year long. If you're anywhere that gets a frost, you're going to want to bring them in for the winter because they are not frost. Uh, they are frost tender. That is, they'll, you know, these leaves will just get crunchy and die if they get a little frost on them. So you don't want that to happen. Uh, but they're going to come to you like this when you get it. You're going to want to probably transplant it into something a little bit bigger. They, um, I would say a minimum of a 16 inch pot. And the reason you want to do that is because these are heavy feeders. You're going to want to fertilize this just like the other ones, but also water it regularly. The hibiscus likes a lot of water. Put it in a bigger pot. It's going to be happier and you're going to save yourself a lot of headaches having to water as much. A bigger pot means you just don't have to water it as, as often. And then you're going to get this. And, and I have to tell you, if you're again thinking about the, um, the gift options, this 
is such a wow gift. It arrives, I'm 5'10", the box it arrives in comes up to my shoulder and you literally pull a tree out of a box. It's such a fun moment. And mine, I just got this one a couple weeks ago or about a week and a half ago maybe. And it is just covered in blooms. So, I mean, this one here, I've got orange ones and pink ones. It's, it very likely could be, you know, blooming right out of the box that's how amazing this is. So if you're looking for um, a real, this guy's just really hanging out over here. <laughs> Very happy little He's, flower. He knows where the camera is and he's like, hello. I know. Uh, ready Woo. for my close up. Uh, by the way, these are going really, really quickly. So if you want what we have for the season in our multicolor hibiscus tree, you got to order now. You can see that we're actually counting backwards already. Only about uh, 500 or so to go around. Uh, this one you do want to bring in in the winter, but if you love hibiscus, and you already shopped our today special. Remember, today could be your plant and get ready for spring entire purchase because we have four flex pay on everything. We don't always have four flex pay on all of our plants, all of our flowers, all of our garden and outdoor items. So we do have interest free monthly payments as low as $17.50. You've got the next four months to pay this off. There are there is free shipping on all of our plants tonight. So if you think about how incredible that is to ship a plant that size, again, this is the one that you're going to receive. Mm -hmm. It's already, you know, three or four feet tall. Uh, that's not easy to ship, but you're not spending a cent on shipping and handling, whether you're buying four plants or one big tree. So do take advantage while we have these great values. Uh, they are going quickly, Rochelle, I'm not surprised. Uh, tell us how to take care of them. If they are outside during the summer, uh, where should we plant them? You know, so I had mine just literally right out here on my um, south facing, so that is very sunny, but it's very shaded here because I have some big trees, and they bloomed beautifully. They do probably prefer more sun than shade. Um, full sun is great, but uh, my own experience is that they actually do pretty well even in, a, you know, half shade, part shade situation. So um, they're great on a patio. They're going to get more than enough sun. Um, you know, so I, I like to put these in a container you, and you do need to put them in a container because you will want to bring them in if it's going to oh, get okay. um, frosty. So they're not, fro they're not frost hardy. Um, so you'll bring them in in the winter, treat them like a house plant. The blooms will... Um, not they won't be blooming all winter um but then come this time of year again have it in a nice sunny window it'll start to bloom again especially right as it's about time to go outside but i mean this is a good one again to like buy doubles because they make such a nice frame you know these two like topiary shapes if you you know put yeah. it uh, a friend of mine actually a couple years ago she had a half a dozen of them in containers all around her pool it was so beautiful. Wow. They're so festive with all the four different flowers. It was just, it was great. It was beautiful, beautiful for the whole season. And, and these are the flowers you get compliments on. These are the flowers that people go, wow, where did you get that plant? Or tell me about your gardening expertise. Uh, the wonderful thing about <laughs> leaf and petal, you don't have to have any expertise. Uh, certainly I have none, uh, but all the people who I've sent these flowers to over the last few years, uh, they have said it's super easy. You get all the instructions, uh, you get suggestions, you always have their 1-800 number, you can email them, you can Facebook them. They're always there to hold your hand if you have any questions. They also give you the one-year warranty. I mean, that, that's a company that's really confident that even a year from now, if you have any problems with your plant, uh, they're there to make sure you get a full money-back guarantee. We also have our guarantee here at HSN. Uh, so you're really covered in making a wonderful investment, but it's so original. It's so dramatic. Again, I love the idea of getting a pair. They can sort of, you know, border an entryway or create a dramatic entrance or you can put them on each side of a walkway or a sidewalk your front steps or if you have a pool or if you've got a hot tub or even just a balcony I, I know that's all I have I've got one balcony so I want it to be as inviting I want it to be as colorful and I certainly want it to be as warm and tropical looking as I could possibly have it this would be great for a patio a balcony or a very small outdoor space so you don't have to have a palace you don't have to have an state uh, to shop any of our, whether it's the today's special, which was also hibiscus.
hibiscus. Uh, we'll remind you about that as well. There's four of the hibiscus bushes that will be outdoors. Uh, this is a great one that you can put either indoors or out. So add this to your order. Free shipping today for flex pay on everything today. It's a really great time uh, to lock in your leaf and petal designs because they do go early in the season and once they're gone, they're gone. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's mention some more amazing plants. Gosh, this, is, this has to be the prettiest studio I will be in all week because it's just full of all these colorful blooms. Here's what you're getting. You're getting a nine-piece dwarf daylily combination. You're getting three in yellow. You're getting two in the pardon me, which is sort of that uh, yellow color. And you're getting two in the pink. So you're getting a total of nine plants. Now here's how they come. This is as big as they get because they're going to be uh, nice and vibrant and full, a couple feet tall, a couple feet wide. They come in this bare root configuration and you'll see a picture right here. So that's how they arrive to you. In fact, they're super easy to plant. You can even put them sideways in the ground and they always find right side up. So this is great for gardening in a city because these are very hardy. They're resistant to pollution. So even if you're on a balcony on West 46th Street where I lived for many years in New York City, uh, if all you have is a fire escape. This is going to be a perfect plant for you and uh, great for all those areas that you might have near a pavement or a sidewalk that maybe get the runoff from the salt. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful option for you. So you get all nine of these, also on for flex pay and free shipping. Let's talk about these day lilies. These are so fabulous, Rochelle. Yeah. Yeah, daylilies are um, one of my favorite things to recommend to anybody who's never gardened before because you literally cannot mess this up. You've got basically this. This is this. You can see there's a tiny bit of green here. Even if you accidentally planted it upside down, it'll figure it out and it'll come back up. These are so simple. Um, they, we call them, I'm up here in New England, lots of people around here call them ditch lilies because literally you could just throw this in a ditch and it would grow. And not only will it grow, it will grow for generations. These are plants that are incredibly long lived. So uh, around here where I live, we have a lot of old stone walls. Lots of people like to plant daylilies in front of the stone walls and they're just stunning. Um, throughout the summer, you know, you get this beautiful grassy foliage and just lines and rows of these beautiful flowers. And we call them daylilies because those flowers, they come out just for a day and then they get a new one every, every day. So lots and lots of flowers all the time, um, but each flower is only lasting one day. And another little thing that I love about daylilies, they're actually edible. I, I, my, a good friend of mine's mother um, has a daylily farm up in New Hampshire. I went to visit her and I didn't know they were edible and she made the most beautiful salad regular salad, but then she had daylily petals throughout. They're kind of sweet. It was so beautiful. Like if you're wanting to wow some guests, you know, add, add a few little daylily petals to your, um, to your, you know, dinner spread. It will really brighten things up, but yeah, you cannot go wrong with these. These are tough as nails. And literally if you plant them, your grandchildren and their children are going to, you know, be witnessing the blooms of these, you know, decades and decades later. It's so pretty and everything in the studio is just so bright and so bold and so vibrant. And I love the idea that you can kind of mix and match once you get them home. And they do come labeled, right? The colors, Rochelle? Yeah. Right, yeah, so you do. can, you can yeah. decide, okay, I want to do the yellows over here, I want to do the pinks over here, or maybe you want to do sort of that uh, soft pink a different place. So you get nine of these, and again, they come in this root formation, and th this is quite common in the leaf and petal world to deliver it just like this, ready to go, right, Rochelle? Yeah, and you know what's great about, um, we send we send a lot of plants like this bare root. Bare root plants, uh, there's a couple advantages. First of all, you often get a much bigger plant, uh, i.e. an older plant, a plant that has been in the ground, and then we harvest it to send it to you. So this is um, 
has more, uh, you know, root power in it than maybe a first year plant or something like that. So these are a little bit older. But the other thing is, is that when you send things bare root, uh, it forces the plant when you plant them to put a lot of energy into that new root growth and establishing themselves really quickly, quicker than something that is, um, you know, being planted with a lot of top growth. So um, this is just a great way to get a plant to you affordably, but also knowing that it's going to live and knowing that it's going to establish itself and start growing really healthily very quickly. So we do it with roses. We do it with, you know, the hibiscus. We do it with daylilies. We do it with the strawberries, all kinds of things. So this is a really great way to, um, to plant things. And again, yet you cannot go wrong. I'm telling you, plant the thing upside down. You'll be amazed because it will find its way back up. This is the most goop proof plant you could ever grow because uh, they, they're they just so tough. They want to live and they want to do exactly what you see there on the set, throw out just tons of these gorgeous flowers. And you know what I love about this collection too is you've got like these two shades of pink and they coordinate with each other because the one shade of pink is like in the throat of the other, you know, shade. And then yeah. they all have a little bit of the yellow. They all kind of coordinate, you, you know, you kind of got to look yeah. down at them a little more closely, but they actually do kind of all match and complement each other color wise. That's a great point, Rochelle. So even the deep pink has the yellow in the center. And if you look at mm -hmm. the lighter pink over here, it has that darker fuchsia pink in the center as well as the yellow. So this is a great opportunity for you and I love that they're hardy they're long lasting these are perennials so when you invest mm -hmm. in perennials they'll come back every single year even bigger and brighter and even more enjoyable so it's a really great great time to try leaf and petal uh, for flex pay on everything and here's the update now more than 6,000 of you uh, 6,500 have shopped for our today's special I've been answering a lot of questions on our Facebook page you can go to HSN's Facebook page Page if you have any questions there's also a lot more information online about how to grow and there's also the map and you can see when you will receive your amazing four-piece hibiscus set but we've never done this hibiscus set before you're actually getting four plants in the growers pot they're already growing they're between six and eight inches they're ready to pop in the ground and then you're gonna get the most amazing blooms totally amazing like nearly eight inches wide but these are the hardy hibiscus so they are deer resistant they are drought resistant they are heat resistant you enjoy the blooms all summer long and in the winter of course the plant will go dormant but it comes right back in the spring so that's a true perennial this is a hundred and nine dollar value if you were to buy those plants separately anywhere else Think about that. You could be spending over $100 on that four-piece set. We have it today, $70 plus off for $29.95. That's on FlexPay. And don't forget, we have free shipping on all of these, too. So you are saving a bundle with shipping and handling. Okay, for FlexPay on all of our spring and outdoor items tonight, my name is Sarah. Uh, so nice to be with all of you. Uh, I'm really trying to answer all of your questions on Facebook, so keep them coming. Uh, you haven't stumped me yet, uh, and Rochelle's our master gardener, so she'll answer any questions you have. I, I know we've got to get to this one. This is always very popular. It is the Leaf and Petal 3-in-1 Buzz Butterfly Bush. It's called the 3-in-1 because you get three colors, three varieties in one pot. You get sky blue, you get the magenta, and you get the white. Now, this is what it looks like full size. You get an idea. It's about three to four feet tall, and it can be about three to four four feet wide at its fullest point, you're going to receive this. So it's already in the grower's pot. It's not a root. It's not a seed. It's ready to go. And you're going to receive some of the most beautiful blooms you've ever seen. Also, if you love butterflies, if you love the wonderful and amazing birds and bees that like to visit your plants. Uh, this is called a butterfly bush for a reason. It'll attract hummingbirds and moths. Uh, also, it smells so sweet. It smells like honey. All right, Rochelle, let's talk about this one. Yeah, this is one of my favorite um, plants for the garden, and it is really kind of the centerpiece of any pollinator garden that you might want to plant. And you might want to plant a pollinator garden because you really, uh, we really, as as um, 
land care, people need to take care of uh, our pollinators and give them um, something to eat. But this is going to be one. Mine is constantly covered with yellow butterflies. The hummingbirds love it as well. They get these big cones of flowers. There are actually three plants in here. You can't really... Well, you can kind of tell, but you plant it all together and the way they've been planted, they've been planted close enough. So it's, it looks like one plant, even though it's three plants. And that's how you get all three uh, bloom colors. Those bloom stalks are going to be about eight inches or more long, and they'll be covered top to bottom with these little flowers that, you know, the hummingbirds and the bees and all of them love it. They are totally attracted to this, I'm sure, because of the very sweet smell. It's one of my favorite smells in the garden. It smells like honey. And so, you know, it's a very unique smell. You have like, you know, the smell of roses and lilacs and all the different things you might have in your garden. This one literally smells like honey, like, you know, that you might put on your toast or something. So it's really enticing. It smells amazing. It has this beautiful silvery foliage. I love that shot. That just blows my mind. I think that is so beautiful. They're, they get very full. Um, they are super simple to grow. Um, these are going to get about four feet. These are not the biggest. Um, if you've grown, this is also called Budlia. If you've grown this before, you might, you might, um, know that some of the original varieties or earlier varieties, they get rather big, um, particularly in the South, they could get six or seven feet tall. These are not going to do that. These are a dwarf variety. They're only going to get three or four feet in each direction, which is really nice. It's nice and tidy down South. You can count on it to um, it, it will die back and it will lose its leaves, but those stems will actually probably stay um, viable year in and year out. Up north here, mine dies all the way back to the ground every winter, but I get that full growth again every year. That's amazing. Um, so, you know, they grow very quickly. They're really tough. They're really fast growers. And then you get all these gorgeous blooms, which, by the way, are also really great for cutting. Think about those in your bouquet. Oh, so I was pretty. just saying uh, they would look beautiful because a lot of flowers kind of tend to, you know, sort of fall over. You need, you need those that stand up in the middle uh, and really give you that beautiful, gorgeous, and vibrant display of color. So this is a three-in-one, which means three varieties have been grown together. So that way you will get all the pinks, you will get those beautiful lavenders, and you'll get the whites. It is on sale. You've loved our buzz butterfly bush. It will become sort of the, the main attraction in your garden. If you are near fresh water, there's a good chance you might have hummingbirds nearby. Uh, they'll also attract the butterflies, the moths, the bees, and it will just be so beautiful and so colorful. And again, that scent of honey, I just think is intoxicating. Also, uh, you can put it in a patio planter. You don't have to put these in the mm -hmm. ground. You can put it in a garden. You can put these in a mixed bed. So how would you suggest we plant them at first? Uh, how much room do we need for this one, Rochelle? Yeah, you're gonna to wanna to plant these about three or four feet apart. Um, or if you wanna do a container, that would be great too. I love them in a container because they get really full. And you know, we, we had a picture there of the container planted um, versions. And they, they stay nice and tidy, uh, which is unique for Budlia. They don't, they're not always known for, you know, they can get really big and kind of wild looking. These ones are a great variety. The buzz variety keeps that nice shape. So you're not going to have to worry about pruning it all the time and trying to control it, which is, you know, one of the drawbacks of some of the other varieties of this. That's why I love this one particularly. You don't have to worry about all the pruning. It's going to stay nice and tidy. Um, yeah, so you can do, uh, uh, you know, kind of flank a staircase or do a hedge of these. I'm planning on putting mine this year. I'm planting more of them all around my vegetable garden because they're bringing so many of those beneficial uh, pollinators and bugs to my vegetables. You know, the companion planting idea. Um, so, you know, you can think about if you have a place where, you know, you want to try and grow tomatoes or some other sorts of things that you really want to draw in mm -hmm. those pollinators, this will really help you out. Oh, these are so pretty. And again, this is uh, giving you an idea of how much room you're going to need, how spectacular it is when it's full grown. You're going to receive a grower's pot. It's ready to go. It's ready to plant. And I do dare you to compare. Shop around. I mean, if you want something like this, you're going to pay a whole lot more at retail. And you're not going to be sure what kind of quality you're getting. Uh, the source of the plant, leaf and petal, uh, they are leaders in the industry. And they're so confident you're going to love it. 
and that it's going to work for you and that it's going to grow big and beautiful. They give you a one year warranty. So it's a really great time to shop. Uh, and do stick around because we've got another look at our four piece hibiscus today special. I've got spray and grow coming up next hour. I've got some great outdoor solutions, some kind of big leaf and garden bags coming up that always are very popular, big customer picks. So we've got more flowers. We've got more fun planned. Uh, we're going to be live again here in just a moment, but add the beautiful buzz butterfly bush to your order. And I think you're going to be so thrilled. So enjoy the flex pay, just $4.50. Uh, you're getting a lot for your money tonight, Rochelle. You are. And uh, you know, one more thing I want to add about these, this, um, this three in one configuration, you just do not see that in the nursery. That is a really a unique thing that we did at Leaf and Petal to try and make Wonderful. something, you know, really special and unique. And so that you have that um, three different color yeah. bloom on what appears to be one plant. It could be our little secret. You know, you don't yes. have to tell anybody. It's actually <laughs> uh, please, custom but. <laughs> look. It does look like you've had your very own landscape designer. Uh, Rochelle's going to stick around. I've got more. My name is Sarah. Right after this, another look at our best value of the day. So don't go away. We'll be right back. goat milk because we had it and that's how our company started but what we learned over the years is how beneficial goat milk is not only for the skin but for your body goat milk adds moisture to your skin it's really the most amazing ingredient people really do notice the hydration of their skin the farm to skin difference only with Beekman 1802 HSN, we love our crafters. So we're bringing you top-rated picks crafters love. It was so easy to use. Plus, experts will share their top tips. Join us on our next craft event on HSN. Get ready for spring with two days of deals on our biggest brands with fresh ideas for your home, garden, and kitchen. Join us all weekend on HSN and at hsn.com.